Hello guys, it is I, Zayap Guy, and in this video, I will show you some weird programming languages. Some people call languages like Rust or Ruby weird. In this video, we will be looking at extraordinarily weird languages. First, we have BrainFudge. BrainFudge is a language made by Urban Müller. So you know how languages have human readable syntax? Things like if, else, for, int, float, void, etc. Well, you see, brain fudge really doesn't have that. An entire language made from less than and greater signs, plus and minus signs, and very unconventional syntax. Here is hello world in brain fudge. Bruh. Yeah, it doesn't really look that intuitive in my opinion. The interesting thing about this language is that it is a very popular project to make an interpreter for this language. It is so common that some genius recreated it in Geometry Dash, a difficult musical platforming game that just happens to have a level editor. Yeah. Second, we have Batch. Batch is basically shell scripting for Windows. It is interpreted as a list of CMD commands from a bat file. Using C and C++ are boring. What about a literal built-in interpreter? Although it might look very primitive, people do very impressive stuff with it. One example is one of my friends, Yeshi. He's working on a multiplayer MMORPG game written in Batch. An online MMORPG in Batch. Here's a small interview with Yeshi, the creator of Batch Quest. Alright, so I have a few questions for you. First of all, why Bash? Why would you not want these stuff like C or C++? It's sort of the same reason why people write programs and games for old systems. It's fun and challenging to work around the limitations of your environment. But how is this possible? How can you achieve such things with Bash? Well, first off, the way I do networking Bash is by using FTP. by sending a temporary file with a public and private client ID for authentication. A batch script acting as the server responds by reading these temporary files, and then altering game data accordingly, and then sending it to each player's client. Well, how long have you been using batch to create all these? About seven years now. Seven years in batch, that's impressive. So, do you know any other programming languages? No, I haven't bothered trying to learn anything else, because I haven't had the need for it. Also, writing something in batch makes it more interesting and unique. Thanks for joining me here. Have a nice day. Best thing about batch if you are on Windows, you already have it! Just create a .bat file and start programming. Third, we have chicken. It's literally called chicken. Someone made a language literally named chicken. Here's some code in chicken. This language is literally the word chicken. The only word in this language is chicken. I really hope someone forks the code for this and makes a language called fried chicken. Then it will be complete. Finally, we have English. Yes, English. The language is called English. I'm not talking about the language I'm speaking right now. The programming language is called English. Look at this elegant code. Display hello world and a new line. Stop the program. This is the programming language called English. If you can speak English, you can probably use English. Why would somebody need this? Does anyone ever use these? No. Are they useful? No. But are they fun? Yes. This was Zyap Guy with another video. I will do these types of videos occasionally, but of course, I will still continue doing my usual programming comedy videos. This video's shoutout goes to Shiba Dog Studios. They're a small game dev channel, they stream occasionally and are very entertaining to watch. So please, go check out their channel. A batch script ass- <laughs> I've mispronounced <laughs> acting as asking five times. Alright, you, you can have as many takes as you need. Yeah. A batch script asking- <laughs> Batch script asking as- uh, You can- you can- You can just read for that. A batch script as- A batch script act- <laughs> F*** hell. A batch script acting as the servers- If you liked this video, Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more, leave a comment. As always, this was Zyap Guy, and Zyap Guy out!